Hey, it's Derek from Watch Me Code. Have you ever wondered what the real secret is to building large apps, especially large JavaScript apps, considering the real popularity of JavaScript these days? I know that's something that I've often struggled with in my career, but the truth and the secret to building large JavaScript apps might not be such a big secret after all. Hang on a second and I'll tell you what I mean. Uh, but first, I want to give you a story. So a couple of weeks ago, I sent out this email to some of my subscribers, people on my mailing list, and people that are specifically subscribed to my watchmeco.net screen, screencasts. And this email was all about a survey that I wanted people to take to give me some feedback. And one of the trends that I noticed in the feedback was people saying, I love the videos, I love what you're talking about, but I want more real world examples of building large applications. And it struck me as kind of odd, like, what do you mean? I mean, what do you think I'm doing with the most recent series, the, the series of series that I've been building? I'm, I'm building this real world system and it's it's not small by any means. Yeah, it doesn't have a lot of front end UI stuff, but there's a lot of logic and a lot of features going on in the back end here and separated out into multiple processes. And after thinking about that for a little bit, it kind of hit me. You know, okay, first of all, this is a failure on my part to really communicate the value, but more importantly, I don't think a lot of people understand what a large app or a large system really looks like. Because the truth is, we shouldn't be building large systems at all. To quote uh, Justin Meyer, the author of JavaScript MVC, the secret to building large apps is to never build large apps. Break your applications into small pieces. Then assemble those testable, bite-sized pieces into your big application. Now I got this quote from Adi Asmani's giant article slash book, whatever you want to call it, on large-scale JavaScript. You can find that at adiasmani.com slash large-scale JavaScript. It's a great article full of a ton of useful tips. It's several years old, quite honestly, but it's still worth reading. There's a lot of timeless tips in there. And this quote from Justin Meyer is really hitting the nail on the head. It's, it's, it's absolutely perfect when it comes to the real secret to building large applications. And that is to not build large applications at all. You build small things. You build little pieces that come together very nicely to create something much bigger. So when you're talking about different scales, different depths of the application, you have to look at it a little bit differently each time. You, know, you, you compose functions out of single lines of code. You compose functions into modules or classes or objects. You compose those into APIs. You compose those into business processes. You compose business processes into applications. You compose applications into larger systems. Larger systems go into enterprise-wide distributions and enterprise-wide setups that have disparate data points and, and disparate systems to deal with. And you just keep going from there. But the whole time you're doing this, you do it all from the perspective of building small things that work very well, do one thing very well, and then you, pil you, you put those things together into something that does more. Now, this is certainly not a new philosophy in software development by any means. I mean, even as old as this article is where Justin Meyer is quoted, this is very much the philosophy of the Unix world, and it probably goes far beyond in history beyond that. But it's something that we as software developers seem to forget all the time. We, we seem to have, at least early in our careers, we seem to have this notion that Oh, I, I really shouldn't be building these small things that just do something simple. I should be building large, complex systems. And the truth is, no, we shouldn't be. We, we should be building these small things that do one thing and do it well. So the next time you're faced with the problem of how do I build this very large system that I'm, I'm supposed to be building, 
Stop thinking about the big picture. Stop thinking about the large system and start thinking about the small pieces, the tiny little things that you can do that you can put together to solve that one problem. And then start composing those tiny little things into something a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger and eventually you will come to the actual solution for the business problem that you're trying to solve. Thanks for watching and happy JavaScripting.